when was the last time you've seen someone overdose? Um, well, I mean, I'm not telling people not know about Delta chicks. I rode over by the grass and hunting from Bear Cross Street. They wouldn't let me on property, but uh, no, I had uh, last person I've seen overdose was probably uh, was probably me. I mean, no, my dog. My last dog, eight year old shepherd, I had a king shepherd, a female. This bitch skinny, she left fucking fatty on the table. My dog must get in him because he was jumping and leaping like she was jumping and everything for at 8 30, 10 30, took her for a walk. She couldn't even walk, man. She's falling down. I took her home. I fucking cuddled her. I said, You're strong, girl. You can do it. You can beat this. I knew it was fatty right away. She had all the symptoms. I told my boy to shop in the house, I'm going to go to Delta and get a fucking uh, uh, naloxone kit or something, man. I'm give it to the dog. He goes, It won't work on dogs, man. He just didn't care. You know? I mean, I, so yeah. what, what ended up happening to the dog? She stepped into my arms. She was dead in the morning. By the morning? About, about, about 10.30, she was uh, starting to vomit and not be able to stand up, so I cuddled her. And even though I had dope and shit on the table out front, I was just in the bedroom. We were trying to quiet place where no one was at. So I just went and cuddled her and said, you can make it, girl. Cause I had her since she was six weeks old, eh? Anyhow, um, so uh, in the morning, my boy woke up at four in the morning. My boy was shopping the house. Oh, he goes, uh, yo, she's strong, man. She's going to beat this. Uh, I seen her have like a last diarrhea poop, like all system fucked out, black shit. And then she stiffened up, man. And then, then the worst brought out. Someone stole my fucking cell phone. I couldn't go animal control. I had to put the dog on the balcony. Where's all these bitches, mutts that were in my fucking house for the last fucking two years? Mushing up my house. Now I'm fucking stuck with a dead dog. My, my baby rotting in front of me. This is fucking sick, man. Yeah. I went to the super. He goes, well, what do you want to do? You want me to call animal control? Yes, he goes, well, why don't you get one of your black friends to call? She wouldn't call animal control to fucking super. Because they want me out, they ate some subsidies. She should have just used her phone to call, man. She wouldn't let me food. She wouldn't let me use phone. She stole my phone. And my boy was fucking raking in the door in my fucking place. I hooked him with all these links to get on the feet. Yo, he said, yo, he said, you got mad stats he's showing up, but yo, you mean to help me out to fucking get rid of the dog, man. So he had no idea. I, after three days, I had her in a fucking hockey bag. Put my Hugo Boss suit on her out on the balcony. I, I still, I tried to avoid, like, being in denial. But I still kept thinking, she's riding away with you. Fuck. Someone gotta help me, man. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah. So anyhow, I, I said, okay, super, you're not gonna call him, so watch this. I got Omar to help me, cause she's 120 pounds, right? Mm -hmm. King Shepherd. Put her in a hot, another bag, like a body bag, and fucking, I wheeled her down on a cart in front of the house, I go, you'll call animal flow now. So she fucked it, he called him, so they gave me 800 and some dollar bill, or I was kicked out. My worker paid it, my, uh, my code of housing paid it. 800 and some dollars, because, yo, know, all these people are mushing up my house, my boy's showing up with his stacks, he's making them bad. Yo, I had resentment, bro. I got yeah, him back. Man. That's the streets, man. Yeah, yeah, we got shot, bro. You guys kind of, right? Yeah, man.